Hello staff, hello students, welcome back to Chef Mel's Kitchen. So today uh, we are making apple and sultana turnovers, which are a type of pastry. Um, two reasons why I'm doing this particular dish. Uh, the first reason is I've had a lovely request for apple turnovers, an uh, apple turnover recipe from our electrician lecturer in Trowbridge. Hello Andy, this one's for you. Another one, it fits in with what I'm setting my level one students next week. So next week, instead of theory work, we're going to be doing some practical cookery. And what I'm going to be setting you as a challenge is looking in your cupboards, looking in your fridge, looking in your freezer, and just making something that you can make out of everything from your normal sort of store cupboard stuff. All of these ingredients I always have in the store cupboard or in the fridge. And there's only six ingredients really cheap to make and really easy. It's probably the easiest sort of sweet dish that I make. So, so simple and I'll just go through the ingredients and the steps. So I told you it was nice and simple, just six ingredients. So you'll need, first of all, apple turnovers. So you'll need tinned apples. Uh, these are tinned Granny Smith, which is a type of apple, um, slices, which I'm going to drain and chop up, two tins. Um, we've got sultanas, and um, there's 80 grams of sultanas there. I always have tinned fruit and sultanas in the cupboard because I like to have it with cereal in the morning, so those are things I always have in my cupboard. You'll need one egg. I know, I know it's kind of hard to get eggs in the shops um, at the moment, but that's the reason why I'm only using one today. You can use milk if you want, but egg um, gives a better glaze. That's going to be brushing on top. You'll need some mixed spice, uh, just half a teaspoon. Uh, you can use cinnamon or you can use nutmeg, but I like the flavour of mixed spice, which is mostly made of cinnamon with a bit of cardamom and nutmeg and other bits and bobs thrown in. You'll need three tablespoons of sugar. Uh, this is golden caster sugar. Just um, it doesn't have you don't have to use golden caster sugar. That's just what I've what I keep in my house because I like the taste of golden caster sugar in my coffee. But um, you'll need three tablespoons of that, two tablespoons in the filling, and then a tablespoon sprinkled on the top. And this, this is the all of those are sort of long shelf life. This is the only sort of shorter shelf life item. It's ready rolled puff pastry. Um, this one's the lighter, lower fat version. I normally get the fuller fat version, but this is the one that they had in the shop. I buy this every week, genuinely every week. And the reason why is because usually, usually I don't do sweet, I do savoury. And this is such a perfect cheap thing because I can top a roll of puff pastry with anything, you know, sausages, cheese, whatever, bake it in the oven and you've just got a delicious tart and you just make, which is made in, you know, 20, 25 minutes. When it comes to pastry, I will always home make short crust pastry, but when it comes to puff pastry, I buy shop bought. So that's maybe that's me being naughty, but that's what I do. Right, I'm gonna go through the method. So I have drained these tinned apples really well. So I've shook the sieve and I've made sure I've got as much liquid out of these as I can, because if you don't get the excess liquid out of these apples, you'll end up with soggy pastry. So I've drained it really well. I put it onto my chopping board and I will use two hands in a minute, but I'm just going to dice that up smaller. So I want to dice it up, not until it's smush, but just until you've got smaller cubes, because you want, I'll, t I'll just cut a cube just to show you. You need roughly, sort of that size cube. Some of the apples sort of breaks apart into a filling, but that's roughly the size we want. I'll put a sultana next to it for, for, for reference, but yeah, we need roughly about that size. So dice all those apples and put them in a mixing bowl. So preheat your oven to 180 degrees fan. Uh, I've got my diced apple in here in a mixing bowl. And to that, I'm gonna add my 80 grams of sultanas, uh, my two tablespoons of sugar, and my half teaspoon of mixed spice. And I'm just gonna mix that up there until everything is really nicely combined. Do -ba -do -ba -do. Pull out your sheet of uh, puff pastry and you're gonna need to cut this into six even squares. So one line along here and then two lines along there. This is the first time I've worked with the lighter, lower fat and puff pastry. It feels a bit stickier than what I'm used to, but we'll see how it goes. So I've got my six roughly, um, roughly even squares. And onto those squares, I'm going to put a couple of generous tablespoons of the mixture. I'm gonna put that onto each six of them. 
So there we go. If you've got any of the filling uh, left over, it is so deliciously amazing in porridge. So I usually end up with a bit of filling left over. But anyway, so now, the reason why they're called turnovers is because you turn them over. So I'll demonstrate, I wonder if I can do this one-handed, I might need to pause it, but I'm gonna turn this over. And you turn one corner over to the other corner, right? And then you feel, seal in that filling and you seal up the edges. I'll do that with all these six and then I'll show you what you need to do to them. But you just need to seal that edge in, push that, and then we're gonna get a fork to crimp the edges. But I'll do that with all six. How cool do they look, eh? So, with a knife, you could use a smaller one, but I'm gonna make a couple of just little sort of holes in each one. And what that does is it, stop, it lets the steam escape from the apples. Um, otherwise, they end up falling out all out the center. So a couple of little holes to let the steam escape from the apples. And then, I won't show you with all of them, but I'll show you with one of them. Um, with the edges, I want you to get a fork and you want to just press the edges and that just sort of gives a crimped edge. So it gives a crimped edge to the pastries. So you go along there. So holes in the top, forks around the edges and then you're gonna transfer that to a baking tray lined with greaseproof paper. There are my lovely turnovers. I'm just going to brush them all with egg. In chefing, this is known as egg washing. Um, and what egg washing does, what brushing beaten egg um, does to pastries and cakes and things, is uh, it gives it color. Uh, so basically, when the egg goes into that oven, it will caramelize the sugars within it, and it will then create a really nice golden crust. If you don't have any eggs, you can use milk instead, but you will generally get a better golden brown colour from egg rather than milk. So just make sure that you've coated all that nice all that nice pastry in the egg. Give it a little bit of space in between each each uh, turnover as well because because it's puff pastry it will puff up so you need to give it a little bit of space. Once you brush them all with egg you then need to sprinkle over your sugar. So, so you need roughly a tablespoon, which is sort of a generous, well, I've got it in a, a little cup, but it's a generous sprinkling. And again, that's gonna help with the color. And that's about a tablespoon. Try and do it evenly. There, that's good. And that's going to go into the oven for 18 to 20 minutes. Mine's quite a fast oven, but you'll know when they're done when they've got a really nice golden brown colour on the outside. So these have been in for 22 minutes and they're all done now. I'm going to let them cool for five minutes. Et voila, apple and sultana turnovers. They are delicious warm with custard, but traditionally you just eat them cold as a pastry. They will keep in a container for three days in a sealed container, but normally I eat them within three days.